I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're looking to build your skills, this is a great place to start. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. I'm going to roll these dice just to determine which seat we're in for the exercise. I rolled a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be in seat two. I'm going to get 13 random tiles for my drawn hand. I'm going to now create a mock Charleston. I'm going to look through the tiles to remove any jokers to simplify the exercise. Right across left, left across right. So there's our mock Charleston. We're going to do this exercise three times and we'll repeat that process. So we are in the south seat, so we're non-dealer. Okay, here we go. We have some wins and dragons, singles, one, three, pair threes, pair fours, pair fives, and a single two six. Four American Mahjong. The strongest style of play is to build around what I call multiples. Pair, Pung, Kong. Here we have three pair, three, four, five. Clearly those are consecutive. So we're going to focus on consecutive run. So then we would look at the rest of our tiles and see if we could use any of those to support these multiples. So here we have a three, four, five. So we could do the second hand down, use this for the missing two, two, three, four, five. Another thing we could do is use the one and do what I call little odds, which is in the next section down. One, three, five, seven, nine, the second hand down follows the same convention. One, three, three, five. We would have to throw away the four, but this is an option, so I would keep it. We could potentially even use it for something consecutive. I think two, I would keep this two. I like to have numbers in a range around my multiple. So one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five could all be useful here. And there are even some options where you can use a dragon. In this case, I don't think that particular dragon is gonna help just because of the suits and the types of combinations for consecutive run. So I think I would let that go and not pass two wins together. Since news, N-E-W-S, one of each of the wins is on the card, it's a little risky passing two wins together. So I think I would pass these three. So the idea here is that you want to build around your multiples, creating the best potential for yourself first. Second, you want to create a defensive pass with your remaining tiles. And I think we've got that right here. So here we have a white dragon. There is a hand that uses the white dragon with the corresponding tiles. This would be the third hand down. The problem here is we need a pair of flowers. I call that a gap but it's still a good potential. We picked up a four, and that is in our range. Two, three, four, five. I think we could probably go ahead and give up the one and focus on two, three, four, five. Just gather every two, three, four, five. When you run out of discards, pick the strongest pattern. So we're gonna throw these. Here we've got an east, a one, and a six. We did get that one in there, but I still think this three, four, five is stronger. We do have a four, five, six here. Maybe what we could do is let the two go. 
focus on three, four, five, six. Let's throw those. Here's a four, three, four. Here's a two, three, two, three, four, five. We have one tile to pass. This is when you pick a hand because we've got all these tiles that fit the category, four numbers in a range around our multiples, three, four, five. Since we have a two here and that second hand down, two, three, four, five, there would be no gaps. I think we could probably give up on the six and maybe even this four. I try not to pass white dragons because they're valuable. They're used as both a dragon and a zero for year hand. So I think probably two, three, four, five, second hand down under consecutive run is going to be the strongest potential. Let's just play it through and see what happens. There's a two and a three. Let's just see how it looks here. One discard. Two, three, four, five. Two, four, five. This three really won't help because of the suit and where our multiples are. I think the two can go too. I think the two, three, four, five is still the best opportunity. So you always just want to reassess whenever you get keepers. Oh my goodness, look at that. A pair of dragons. Okay, let's see if we can use it pair of dragons, four, five. There's no way to use this pair of dragons with the four, five of dots here. We can definitely get rid of the one dot. Two, three, two, three, four, five. There is a knitted hand where if we had two dots, we could do two, three, four matching dragon. That would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Let's go ahead and risk passing the white dragon and see what happens. We got a green dragon, one and a nine. Those are not gonna be helpful here. We'll go ahead and pass them. Let's see what we get back. This is the optional cross. We ended up getting a two, three discards. And I'd say we're in between either two, three, four, two dot, three crack, four dot dragon. That would mean we have six discards or we could play two, three, four, five, second hand down, use this to maybe obtain a joker during the pick and discard phase of the game. If someone makes an exposure with a red dragon and a joker, we might be able to get jokers. I rolled a nine, so we're gonna be the dealer or east. Okay, we have four, four, five. We need one more tile if we're the dealer. So four, four, six, that's what we want. So we have east and west singles, pair threes. This is gonna be the strength of the hand. So this is where we're gonna start, right there. We're gonna look at the rest of our tiles and pick as many as we can to support this pair. So with a three and these tiles, I think we could do two, three, four, five, or one, three, five. So I'm going to hold 
all the two, three, four, five, and one, three, five. We could play either odds with one, three, five, or consecutive run with one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. That leaves us these to discard. So let's pass one of each suit. Let's see, nope, because I don't want to pass like numbers. We'll pass a wind and two number tiles in different suits. We're looking for consecutive run or little numbers, little odds specifically. So we got a three, one, three, five, or one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. We have dragons that might work and we have tiles here we can pass. Okay, we got a dragon, that's another multiple. So really, I would reassess here. Let's put these in order. So the eight we don't need, but here we have one, two, three, four, five, mixed suits, peregrine dragons. If we can find a way to use these and these, that's gonna be the strongest way to go. So with a three dragon, we could do maybe something with the four. There is a knitted consecutive run hand second one down. We would need five dots, but that is a possibility. So I would hold this. There's also a like number hand with threes. This would be probably the concealed hand under like numbers, in which case I would keep the white dragon. So I'd say we're between still consecutive run and like numbers with threes. So let's look and see what else we could maybe do. We could maybe do two, three, two, three. I would not pass two, one, eight. That would fit right into a year category. So I think we could give up the five and let's give up the one. It's a little bit better than passing this. Here we go. We got a flower, a one, and a three. So here's one, two, three, three. We've got a lot of one, two, three. I think at this point we can give up on the four. The five dot is not in our hand and we need to come up with a pass. So I'm thinking we could maybe do one, two, three, dragon. This would be the consecutive run knitted hand. Second one from the bottom under consecutive run. One, two, three, dragon. The two and the dragon match. As an option, I think I would hold the flower and the two, three, two, three potential here. Two, three, two, three. We have two tiles to pass. We have to pick a hand, because see, we have gone right across the left. We're going into the second Charleston. We're in between hands. I would not stop the Charleston if you're in between hands. You pick a hand and move forward. It's really the best way to go, instead of straddling two hands. So let's pick a hand. Let's go ahead and count what do we have the most of. We have seven tiles to two, three, two, three. This would be the concealed pun hand under consecutive run, last hand. So we have seven tiles for that. If we played one, two, three, dragon, same number of tiles. The one, two, three, dragon is less points. Let's see, two, three, two, three, the thing about the one, two, three dragon is we're using three multiples. With the two, three, two, three, we would be breaking up two. So I'm thinking this might be stronger. Let's give up a two. We could always use a joker or switch to like numbers and dragons. That would be maybe this hand right here. If you look at the first hand under like numbers, pair of flowers, Kong of threes, 
Kong of the Dragon in a third suit, and then another Kong of Threes. So we have dots, bams, cracks represented there. So there's still options, and we came up with a pass. This is a little risky because we're passing that white dragon, but I think it's worth the risk considering what we're having to work with. So we've got now winds and a dragon. So at this point, we might consider like numbers even stronger. We have to decide here. Let's see. One, two, three, dragon. Or like numbers with threes. Let's get rid of the two. Oh, there's that five. That was one of those number tiles that we could have used early on, but it didn't come in. Not at the right time. There's another flower. So I would want to use this flower. I would downgrade this potential here, I think, and probably play like numbers with threes. Like numbers with threes. This would be the first hand under like numbers. So here we have West 7. If we gave up the red, we still have the option of playing that knitted hand. Let's go ahead and throw these. Oh, look it, we got the two back and a white dragon. One, two, one, three. So I would still say like numbers with threes is the strongest. We've got four discards with joker bait. Or keep this for plan B and get rid of these first. The nice thing about like numbers with threes here is there are no gaps. No missing pieces. We just need to build them up and then Kong. Okay, we'll do this one more time. Okay, we've got another year hand potential here. This time we have some east and west. I never pass flowers, or I should say rarely, so I'm going to keep that. I would say these are the tiles we should give up. We might be able to play something with like numbers with the eights, in which case I would keep that red dragon. So I'd say we could start by discarding these. So let's say these three. Okay, we have a nine, three, six, seven. Building around our multiples here. I think a year hand with news is going to be the best. Let's pass these three. We got an eight and an east. So now we have east and west, maybe with eights. East and west because we picked up a multiple. That year hand with news has only singles. So over in the Wind and Dragon category, there's the East and West with even, second hand down. We could maybe play that. Let's keep our options open and pass these three. There's an eight and a West. Okay, so I think we should give up on the year hand and play East and West with eights. East and West with eights. We're now at the place where we need to decide whether or not to stop the Charleston. I would not pass a pair, and I would not pass a flower. So in this particular case, we either need to break up our hand and pass, pass a pair and a flower, maybe 
this would be an instance where we pass a flower to get to the second Charleston. So I do this very rarely, but since we have no gaps and this is a 30 point hand, this is when I would consider passing a flower. We got a west and I would continue even risking passing a flower. All we need is an east to be set on a 30 point hand. We didn't get it, but we're three away from a 30 point hand at, the, at this point. We'll pass these three. No keepers. I would risk passing that white dragon. So I say that was pretty good. Charleston, all we need is an east to get set for east and west with pairs of eights. We just need an eight in here. So we could Kong that and just get maybe a, a, an east or a, dra a joker for this. Discard these. I would say that was a good exercise for these tiles. That, that worked out interestingly when we paired up those wins, that's when you reassess. Since flowers are such a hot commodity, they're in every category on the card. I try not to pass them, but there are times that you can break that guideline. And that last Charleston modeling exercise was a good example of when to make that decision to pass a flower. We ended up being three away from a 30 point hand. I think that was a good choice. Let me know what you thought. If it was uncomfortable for you passing a flower, write pound cringe in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, May all your picks be keepers.